Okay, well, let's look at 23. Uh, so 23 is designed as a uh, piecewise function. So if x is greater than or equal to 6, it behaves like 10x plus 2. If x is between negative 3 and 6, including negative 3 but not 6, it behaves like 5x minus 6. And if x is less than negative 3, it behaves like x squared minus 2. So the question is asking us to evaluate f of negative 4 plus f of 5. And all we have to do is decide, uh, for the first one at least, uh, is f of, where is f of negative 4? So we know f of negative 4 is less than negative 3. So we just substitute that in there. So this becomes negative 4 squared minus 2, which gives me 16 minus 2, which is 14. So f of negative 4 is 14. Do the same thing with f of 5. So we have to decide, well, where is f of 5? Well, f of 5 is between negative 3 and 6. So we know we're going to plug into this function. So this becomes 5 times 5, because remember, x is 5, minus 6. And this gives me 25 minus 6, which is 19. So this is going to be, I'm having a hard time reading my pen, 14 plus 19, which is uh, 33. Okay. Cool beans. All right, so the next one, uh, it's more of the same. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to erase this so I have more space. Uh, the next one is going to be f of 0. So again, you have to decide where 0 is. 0, of course, is in the middle. It's between negative 3 and 6. And I just substitute it. So this is 5 times 0 minus 6, or simply negative 6. So b is negative 6. Last one says, well, where is 6? Well, we know 6 is greater than... Well, we know 6 is actually greater than or equal to. So be careful because this one has 6, but it doesn't have a line under here to indicate that it's equal to 6. So erase that. Uh, so we know it's got to be the top one. And so all I do is 10 times 6 uh, plus 2. And this gives me 16 plus 2, which is 18. So the last one is 18. So I think these are gimme questions. All you have to do is figure out uh, which function I need to uh, substitute in. Um, the one thing that makes this a little difficult is, as you saw, we have to func we we have to apply the back part first. Okay, so the ordering is kind of wonky, but uh, once you see what to do, it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully that makes sense. See you in the next video.